This is something very different, but I thought I'd really like to talk about it. <clears throat> hey everyone, welcome to another video, and yes, in this video I'm going to be talking about the spoiler leak that happened. Uh, it happened like, I think a week or two ago, and I think they changed their story and stuff, and then there's similar leaks, but uh, also a little changes because there are a lot of rumors that Disney is still filming Rise of Skywalker, that they're, you know, adding in new things and changing things because apparently there's this rumor go going around that there was a test screening and people walked out of the test screening and people weren't, you know, fancy on what they did to Rise of Skywalker and what J.J. Abrams did with it and stuff. Again, this is all rumors, this is all speculation, none of this is factual. Some of this probably is very well false and stuff, but I still thought it would be really fun to talk about it and some of the leaks that happened that were released to the public and stuff. Anonymously, obviously, but uh, a lot of people on YouTube have been talking about this, like Ducock, uh, Geeks and Gamers, that Star Wars girl, they've talked about some of these leaks and stuff, and I thought I'd talk about them because I have to say, if these leaks are fully true and fully accurate, I'm telling you, Rise of Skywalker is going to be the worst Star Wars movie to ever hit theaters. Probably worse than Attack of the Clones. Maybe filmmaking-wise it's better, but it's... It would jeopardize everything that Star Wars stands for and all the characters that we know and love. So, I'm going to just say spoilers. Um, again, this all could be just rumors. It could be all false, and all bullshit and stuff. But I'm going to put spoilers just in case these rumors are true and if people... So I don't want to, I don't want to piss people off and think like oh this these are real spoilers and this actually is in the movie. If you don't want to know anything about the movie, again this this might be nothing. This could be all bullshit. This could be just some guy trolling the internet. I don't fucking know, but like it could be all bullshit. However, it could be all true. So spoil uh, sorta spoilers ahead. I'm gonna tell every I'm gonna explain and just you know paraphrase most of it. I read it all, but uh, I try to remember everything that I read and stuff. There was a lot to debunk. There was a lot to, you know, there was a lot to take in. Because the, the shit that happens, I'm like, well, that actually makes sense. But then I kept going like, well, okay, that well, that doesn't make sense at all. What the fuck's happening? <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, so, yeah, I'm going to explain it. Uh, so apparently in the very first opening of the movie does the Star Wars crawl, the ba 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 like, you know, typical Star Wars stuff, uh, Rise of Skywalker. And apparently Rey is like, you know, I think she's doing training and like Luke Skywalker talks to her through the Force and stuff. And then the planet, the desert planet you see uh, Rey fighting the ship on, that's like near the beginning and Kylo Ren is in that ship and then he like tries to kill her. But of course she beats him because the Mary Sue Ray always wins the fight and everything. There's also like the war going on and just, you know, Kylo Ren trying to get the Knights of Ren and, you know, kill the resistance and all that shit and everything. And they don't explain too much about uh, what happens through a lot of the middle of the film and then everything like that. They mostly just talk about the ending because apparently the whole third act is what made people walk right out of the movie. Apparently the movie itself is still a pretty boring film. It has a lot of dumb shit in it and just a waste of a Lando Calrissian, which is stupid. How dare you waste waste Billy D. Williams, but apparently at the very, like, the, the climax to the movie, uh, we, uh, see Emperor Palpatine, uh, and, uh, Ray finds him in his chair, he's on like this like life support thing, hooked to these wires and everything, and then the biggest thing I wanted to know was how, how, how is Palpatine still alive? He's dead. Vader grabbed him and threw him off the fucking edge and he blew up and shit. <laughs> how is he alive? But uh, apparently, apparently, that was a clone Vader killed. And apparently this new Palpatine, this new Emperor, is the real Emperor. There's, he's got many clones of himself, and the, and he knew Darth Vader would go to the good side, and Vader would kill him, so he replaced himself with a clone, and he killed a clone. <laughs> 
why it's as dumb as it sounds. So basically, my entire my everyone knows my favorite scene of all Star Wars is when Vader has to make the sacrifice, seeing uh, the Emperor kill Luke with the Force lightning, and Luke saying, "Please, Father, help!" And then he grabs him and kills him. It's literally one of the most gripping, most powerful moments in all of Star Wars. So basically, if this is all true. That was all for nothing. Vader's sacrifice was for nothing. The greatest scene in all of Star Wars is wasted, and it's all bullshit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, I hope it's not true. Oh, my God. And then there's more. And apparently Rey is the granddaughter of Palpatine. <laughs> she's, she's, not, she's not a Skywalker. She's not a Solo. She's uh, not Darth Maul's daughter. <laughs> She's Palpatine's granddaughter. I'm like, oh my god. Uh, and apparently she like you know has like this like beef with Kylo the whole movie, but then she like turns him to the good side. And then her and Ben, which is Kylo Ren, uh, they go to Palpatine. They confront him, and then they learn about him. The twist. What a twist. Uh, that Ray is the granddaughter of Palpatine and yeah and then Palpatine shows his true power the resistance comes and just like one wave of lightning he like kills the entire resistance with like one force lightning I'm like hold on <laughs> he's strong the, the Emperor is strong but he's not that strong <laughs> and then apparently the Millennium Falcon gets destroyed and C-3PO, R2-D2, Lando Carusian, and Princess Leia are all on board when it gets destroyed, and all four of them die. C-3PO, R2-D2, Lando, Leia, all of them die. And the Millennium Falcon, the greatest spaceship in all of cinema, gets blown up. Wow! <laughs> I've never seen a bigger fuck you to all the fans of Star Wars. Just like, you know the, the, the greatest ship ever? We're going to kill it. We're going to destroy the ship. And every character that was in the old Star Wars, we're going to kill them all. They don't even have to kill R2-D2, but they got in this movie like, why? Why do you have to kill R2? You have to kill 3PO. You got to kill Lando, who wasn't even in the previous two films, but we got to kill him. And then we got to kill Leia. We got to kill every one of them. Anything that represents those old school Star Wars films that mean so much to us, we got to kill them all. Wow fucking dumb <laughs> and then um apparently like uh kylo and uh ray they fight the emperor palpatine and he kills kylo ren with the force lightning and kylo ren goes into the abyss and he's dead and kylo's dead and ray's like cry oh my god kylo we've been in we've had this friendship for a whole 20 minutes oh my god and then ray talks with every Jedi Knight, like Yoda, Obi-Wan, uh, Anakin, like all of them, like, communicate with her, and then she gets the power and the strength to defeat the Palpatine, and she, you know, hits a Force Lightning back at him, and then kills the Emperor once and for all, in the most underwhelming climax, I'm guessing, and then she wipes out his entire fleet just with the Force, and then Rey is the true hero, and she's the most powerful Jedi Knight in the history of Jedi Knights. Yoda who? Mace Windu what? No, Rey's the most powerful. Barely any training, but when Kylo Ren dies, she figures out the strength to get the power she needs and destroy the Palpatine. And the, the real Palpatine, apparently, because the one we were dealing with was just a clone. <laughs> okay. And then, yeah, she brings balance to the Force. She goes to Tatooine. Everyone, all hail Rey, the Mary Sue feminist hero that we all know and love. And that's how it ends. <laughs> oh, God. And, oh, yeah, also Hux, like, teams up with them and, you know, alliance with Leia. That happens, too. And, uh, yeah, that's Rise of Skywalker. That's, like, some of the major spoiler leaks. There's a lot more. goes more into detail. What happens with, like, with Finn and everything. Some of that's just not boring stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of, like, the, the leaks uh, that are happening and what people have been saying about this. And we don't know if it's true. It could all be false. 
And if it is, thank God. <laughs> Honestly, like, thank God. Like, honestly, if it's false, then it's good that these leaks came out because it just shows you how bad Star Wars could really be. <laughs> but if they are true, if it is true, if these leaks, these spoilers are completely true, then this movie is a failure. This movie will be a failure. I don't care how they execute it. I don't care how good the filmmaking really is. Good filmmaking can only save you so much from a really bad story. Uh, it, it's, it, it's a failure to Star Wars, and if this is all true, this is going to be the shittiest Star Wars film ever made, so, is hoping it's not true, so, in the comments I show, please tell me, did you read, uh, about the spoiler leaks, what are your thoughts and opinions, if this is how Star Wars is, if this is the, the plot of Rise of Skywalker, if that's the whole climax to Rise of Skywalker, would that anger you as a Star Wars fan? Would that legit anger you? Or would you actually think, oh yeah, that's that's great. I wouldn't, couldn't have ended better myself. Like, I think it's awful. But anyways, what are your thoughts and opinions? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.